Hi, my name is Tejas and uh, I'll be talking about Facebook uh, in this presentation. Uh, so here are some basic facts. Uh, it is headquartered in California. It was founded in 2004. It went public in 2012 and it has around 12,700 full-time employees. Uh, an overview of the internet industry. So it's one of the evergreen industries and it has become an integral part of over 3 billion people and it's something that we cannot live without anymore. Uh, the demand for this industry is not affected by the current economic conditions. Uh, several countries have censored or even banned the internet because it is too open and Facebook itself faces constant lawsuits uh, on the grounds of violation of privacy and selling of personal information which even its competitors are uh, accused of. So doing a Porter's Five Forces model analysis of Facebook, uh, we see the bargaining power of buyers is non-existent as no single Facebook user has too much control. Uh, the bargaining power of suppliers is also not too much as there is a huge demand to advertise on Facebook. Uh, the threat from substitutes is also not uh, there because Facebook is the leader in its segment by huge margin uh, in terms of monthly active users uh, and also in, in terms of advertisements. Uh, the threat of new entrants, um, there's no immediate direct threat to it because Facebook has already captured a huge market share but you know, Facebook itself was founded without uh, much capital or resources uh, so yeah there is a, a threat. And the competition among existing companies, and there's fierce uh, competition among existing companies. Uh, doing a SWOT analysis, we see the strengths of Facebook are that it is the current leader in social networking with over 1.59 billion MAUs. It has the maximum number of advertisements and revenue. It is seen as a daily necessity in the lives of millions of people and it has an extremely skilled uh, and uh, motivated workforce. The weaknesses, the public perception of the way it handles user privacy is not that great. Uh, the advertisements are regarded as spam and the click-through rate of the advertisements is pretty low. Uh, looking at the opportunities, we can see that uh, uh, Facebook can expand into China. It can try and monetize the growing number of mobile users. It can look at uh, additional sources of revenue apart from advertisements and Facebook games and it can move aggressively into the virtual reality space and possibly become a pioneer. The threats are ad block extensions. Uh, again, the perception of privacy issues is not that great and the social networking audience is fickle. Uh, also, Facebook uh, has had gotten into a tussle with Germany's antitrust laws and if it wants to expand into other segments like videos and uh, blogs it will have to face competition from these already existing companies in those areas. Uh, look at the major mergers and acquisition of Facebook in the last 10 years right from Instagram to the more famous WhatsApp in 2014. Uh, Facebook uh, uh, you can see the number of monthly active users for Facebook has been consistently increasing. Uh, the digital video ad spending in the US is also been projected to increase till 2018 which is a good sign for Facebook because uh, its market share for digital ads is the highest 24% in 2014 and projected to increase to 27% in 2017. Uh, the worldwide mobile internet ad spending is also projected to increase which is good for Facebook because its mobile only MAUs is also uh, consistently increasing and the percentage of revenue that Facebook earns from mobile was a huge 66% in 2014, increased to an even bigger 78% in 2015. Uh, so if we look at the CFRY uh, for Facebook, we see that it's much above the cost of capital, which means that it creates a positive wealth uh, for its shareholders, which is a good sign. And the asset growth has also been uh, consistently high. Uh, we see that the sales growth, the operating margin and the asset turns for Facebook have also been consistent. If we look at the risk assessment, we see that the overall score is pretty good, which means that Facebook is not a risky buy. And also the whole warranted price is well above the current price of Facebook, which means that Facebook has been highly undervalued. And we also see that the risk of default is zero, which is a really good sign. Uh, if we do a ratio analysis, we see that uh, the steadily increasing EBITDA margins indicate profitability of current operations. Uh, the increasing net profit margins are also a good sign uh, year on year. Uh, the uh, increasing asset turnover ratio and return on assets indicate that Facebook is making the most of its increasing assets. Uh, the return on equity is also moving upwards, which indicates that the stock is providing value to shareholders. Uh, the current ratio is extremely high, which means that Facebook can definitely pay off any immediate short-term obligation. And the debt-to-equity ratio is quite low and has been decreasing uh, year on year as well, uh, which is a good sign, which means that Facebook uh, is not uh, over, over, over leveraged. If we compare the ratio analysis with other companies, we see that in terms of EBITDA margin, net profit margin, ROA and ROE, Facebook is hands down much better than its competitors. Uh, in terms of current ratio as well, Facebook is much more liquid and in a better position to pay off any short-term obligations. Uh, the price-to-sales ratio is also uh, much lower, uh, which uh, means that it generates more sales but does not pass on the price uh, to the shareholders. 
and again the debt to equity ratio is again lower which means that it is not as much exposed to debt as the other companies so the conclusion is that facebook is the undisputed leader in the social networking segment and will continue to remain so for the foreseeable future provided it keeps up its innovative culture and aggressively expands into new markets all the ratios and numbers are solid and well above the rest of its competitors it will have to take care of public sentiment regarding privacy violation and tackle the issue of antitrust laws and other lawsuits and most importantly, the mergers and acquisition strategy for Facebook seems to be working extremely well, as both the core business and integration of acquired businesses are having a positive impact. And we recommend Facebook to continue the same. Thank you.